Okay, hi guys. This will be my 8th Town Hall 9 reading video. Okay, just a little uh, recap on what I've been doing recently. Recently, I'm um, slowly maxing out on my Town Hall 9. Basically, just doing my wars and heroes. So basically, these are these are trophy hunting videos that I've taken in uh, in the last one month ago when I was trophy hunting with Exodia. So so yeah, things are getting kind of monotonous lately because I was just farming for level nine wars and stuff. Okay, let's get on with the raiding video. Okay, so basically. Today I'm trying some voice com commentary, so just feedback to me whether whether you like it, whether you don't like it, or what what and or and what not. Okay, basically now I'm going going on with the attack lock. These are the attack locks for the past few hours. Yeah, the some of the rates are quite nice uh, in the sense that you see like over here you can get 200 plus. 245k go 3000 DE 200 The loots are pretty nice up here But take note that this is This video is dated one month ago la, So So yeah Some of the loots may not be As good now I'm not that sure Okay let's take a look at the raid This will be a balloon minion raid again This will Basically all my raids are in the form of Mainly 24 balloons and 50 minion. Okay, so basically looking at this base, Town Hall 9. At this level of crystal 2, right, Town Hall 9 are... Town Hall, Town Hall 9 bases are very rare, right, in the sense that if you get them, it's like a higher chance to win compared to a Town Hall 10, because they have a lesser... lesser, lesser buildings to destroy to get the easy 1 star, the 50%. As well as they do not have inferno towers. Okay, so basically, when you see, okay, basically over here I'm first delving out the archer queen, and I'm supposed to check for clan castle. And yes, there are clan castles inside. All archers. Oh, there's wizards as well. So take note that wizards require two lightning spell to destroy them so here's one and oh okay that was lucky it met two lightning strikes ma managed to hit the same area resulting in one lightning spell being able to destroy them okay, so here dropping the minions as well as the balloon oh wow, there's so many bombs because as you can see right over here the dark elixir storage is over here so it kind of like um, how to say the resource are biased to the top right corner in the sense that there's go go and de so the other two goals are over here so resource are biased to this area as well as the bottom right area so i threw down my rage the rage is good in the sense that it helps to speed up and it helps to prevent much attack from the wizard towers so, okay, X goes, one X goes down. Let's go here just rushing the troops in. Minions with rage is very, very effective. Okay, so now we're at 38%, 40%. Minions, the minions here are rushing through this area. And over here, the archer tower is being upgraded. So the minions are pushing in. Being taken down easy, easy picking of troops. Oh, that's nice. We have hit fifty three percent already. So I doubt we can get two stars here. So yep, fifty nine percent, hundred k go, thousand D. That's pretty nice move. But that's using three spells, including one lightning spell. Okay, next wait. If me choose seventy three from blue line. Quite nice look as well. Okay, wow, nice base. You can see at the Town Hall 9, level. These are level 9 walls, but over here these are all level 10. 
you can see the difference. Wait, well, majority are level 10 walls coming from the spikes. Okay, level 27 Archer Queen, level 27 Archer King. It's you must think Archer Queen and Buck King. You take note, you see for Town Hall 9, that if there's, cause there's no Inferno Tower, so I just need to take note of the expos that they're empty. Although they are facing up, but they're empty, so it's fine. So chances are the clan castle should be empty as well, but we shall see. And okay, so here I'm loving out the Archer Queen. Okay, now I'm baiting them to the top left. Because in the sense that it's this area when cut off, the town hall is much closer to the top. So here I'm assuming that the clan castle is empty. So 27, level 27, I deploy a bit more to take, take her down. Okay, so here are my balloons. Take note that this is most likely an abandoned base due to you see a good amount of... Yep, you see I already taken 1800 DE already. So it's a kind of an abandoned base. So the dude are majority in the, in the collectors. Okay, so here three rows of balloons coming down, just rushing in. Okay, their Teslas are centralized near Town Hall, but yeah, they are no match for my balloons. So here, my minions are very easy picking over the Town Hall already. So we're just pushing in, now I have 43%. Just pushing. My level 11, but pink, oh wait, it's getting destroyed. I'm still alive. You just keep the second style, 57%. Just push him, push him. And now you see that we already have all the DE, majority of the gold already. So here we are get, deploying one minion to easily get that gold mine because it's out of reach of the wizard. Oh wait, it's not. Yeah, I'm just keep left 2000 inside this gold mine, which is still alright. Okay, so basically, yeah. Quite a good loot, 2000 plus, 2200k plus, and the 2651 Dark Elixir. And this is on the usage of two Vage spells only. I didn't use any Lightning spells for for uh, what's that? for Clan Castle whatsoever. Oh wait, now I just realized that there's this Builder Hut. So theoretically, I can just like deploy one minion there, so I, in case I can't get the 50%, this will help get the 50% more easily okay. so I gain 19 trophies from here ok moving on ok now for the third rate we have Lord Lawrence from Kingdom Creed you see all my attack patterns are the same using balloons and minions as well as at least 2 witch spells Okay, so for this base, pardon me. Okay, so for this base, this is a, this is a town hall ten base. But what do you notice is that the inferno towers they are located at the bottom area. So I can actually attack from the top, where it's easy to lure out the clan castle from the top as well as be away from the Inferno Towers. Okay, so first thing first, baiting of the Archer Queen. Okay, baited level 5 Archer Queen. Okay, the CC troops as well. Let's see that baiting of the CC troops, there's quite a lot of Archers still going. Okay, that's all of them. Time to group them up together. The lightning has a radius, uh, so it's actually okay to just uh, deploy them in the middle because I know that they're able to reach it. So from this area, you can see from here, it was pretty, it was pretty hard to lure out the Archer Queen to the top because of the two Archer Towers there. So I kind of wasted a lot of minions over here, so decided to lure them to the Archer Queen to the right side. Okay, just luring, luring. Okay, now I feel level 5 Archer Queen is pretty easy to take down. 
Okay, now I deploy, deploy my balloons. That's where the reach. The wizard towers were exposed, that's why it's very easy to let the mini savior. It was very easy because the wizard tower were exposed. Okay, over here the wizard tower is exposed, so I can just easily. As well as the air defense, they are both exposed as well, so I can just take them up, take them down easily. There are two rich spells. The defense are basically in the outer layer and the mid layer. Because the inner layer there has many like extra buildings such as like the collectors, spell factory. What are these doing inside with the town hall anyway? But yeah, so this was the attack in. Balloons are attacking it throughout the mid area, getting exposed to the infernal tower. Area. The main thing is that the mortar was gone, so I can just push in from here. You see, from here, right, all the defense are being cleared out already, except this this expo as well as the two inferno. The wizard tower's range is pretty short, so it's fine. I deployed my clan castle from the top, they're just coming in. Yes, that's the thing, that he didn't put any defensive building around the town hall, so it's very easy for, for me to get access with it. Okay, the CC troops as well as the wizard. 37%, okay, 48% with one star, now for the second star. See? 49 and 50. Okay, basically, this was a bit. The loot isn't that good, but oh well. First, I was mainly attacking the. First, when you can see from the the initial point, right? the initial point was that the resource. Pardon me. The resource were gathered at the bottom. The DE, the gold storage elixir, they all at the bottom. Only the two elixir was at the top. So yeah, after I destroy the base, it's basically to lure enemies to attack from the bottom. But when you're trophy hunting and you have enough resource, it's okay to just attack from the town hall if let's say they have good, good trophy count. So yeah. bottom 50% over here. Now for the end. Majority of the loots are inside the storage, so it's kind of pointless to attack them. Okay, so here I gotten 22 trophies. When I'm trophy hunting, what I'm looking for is bases with at least 30 trophy counts. Cause when you get two stars, like you'll get around 20 plus trophies from them. If you get one star, it'll be around like 10, 10, 11 trophies like that. So for this case, this base had 33 trophies for me to loot, so 2 star will be 22 trophies. So yeah, 1 lightning, 2 witch, and my standard army. So yeah, this is a 3-in-1 raiding video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And basically, yeah, this is my first commentary. Because there are some people who suggested or asked me to try out, so yeah, this is my first try so hope you guys enjoyed watching it and yeah don't forget to like subscribe and share if you enjoyed watching it and yeah do try out the balloon and minion combo is really very effective and it only takes around i think 45 minutes 45 minutes to build them only so yeah hope you guys enjoyed watching see you